Hello there, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Victoria here, Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your daily reading for Thursday, February 29th. So let's have a look and see what energies are coming out for you guys the most as I'm shuffling here. Don't forget to check out your March money and career readings. They're all posted for you guys now. I'll put the link in the description box and the comment section down below. First out for you here, we've got the Emperor. Look at that energy. Number one, the Emperor energy is Aries energy. So this might be a great day for you to start a new project, to get something off the ground, and to be very decisive. We've got the Seven of Cups at the back of the deck. So this can show that you might have a lot of different options. How do I get started? How do I wrap something up? Um, do I need to change how I'm doing something, right? The Emperor can be a card of strategy as well. The Seven of Cups can also represent represent that we're dreaming about something or we're using our imagination, but there is an underlying element of confusion or doubt or fear, right? You know, so um, the emperor is here to help you to be large and in charge today, to make the right choices, the right decisions for yourself and to really take control, right? The emperor is very sure-footed, very wise energy and very authoritative energy today. So you might need to um, really stand your ground or speak your truth, or you might need to just be really confident in your decisions today. But some of you here, if you are looking at making some change or starting something new, especially with that Aries energy that can give you initiative, um, this is about having a plan, having a strategy, but being open to be a little flexible as well. The emperor is the ruler of an empire, right? The kings rule kingdoms, emperors rule empires. And you don't get to be the ruler of your own personal empire without being a little bit flexible along your way. And don't be afraid to fail, right? The emperor did not get successful in every single battle, okay? So there may also be a person today here for you that is does play a key role. They are front and center. This can be a boss, right? Emperor can be big boss um, energy. This can be a father figure of some kind, right? So it can be a dominant parent or actually a dominant male, right? So this can be like a head of a household. This can be your father, grandfather, uncle. Um, this can be, uh, you know, your mother mother, right? Maybe uh, your mother played the key role at the head of the household. So someone here may give you a little bit of advice today, because uh, quite often the emperor does come across as advice energy. This can be someone new that you meet, and they might kind of spark something within you. They might spark a little bit of interest. They might kind of, you know, be someone that in some roundabout way might motivate you. Um, but there's someone that you can connect with today in the upright energy in a positive way. Your blessings headed your way today. Beautiful. Perhaps your emperor is a new boss. <laughs> Perhaps the emperor is someone that wants to give you money or an opportunity or the page of pentacles wisdom. So part of the blessing here for you today, yes, some of you could be receiving some gifts. Some of you may have an opportunity that comes to light today. Um, you might discover an opportunity, right? And this can actually be to partner up with someone quite powerful. This is also your personal power to get things started or to make some moves that you know you want to make. The Page of Pentacles is a pretty positive energy anyway. And in your blessings position, we have this extra oomph behind it. So so money, resources, new beginnings, jobs, invitations, opportunities, but also knowledge. The Page of Pentacles is open to learning new things, loves to absorb information. And so right beside the emperor, this can be some very important information that you discover because you're taking charge, right? Or someone that gives you some really good and wise information today. It might be about your resources. It might be about your job path, right? It could be about your money, whatever it happens to be. It's good information, so pay attention, okay? If you're looking for a new job or you're looking for ways to make a little bit more money, you could open up um, some possibilities for yourself today. But be a little bit open to something new um, or a different way of doing things. All right. Some of you could be spending some money today here as well. Oh, as I as I pull up the five of pentacles. Now, the five of pentacles is in your challenge position and it is in the reverse. OK, so if you've had some money issues, um, you know, or if you've been feeling like 
you don't have enough money or there's something not going your way, you might really need to take charge, take control, take the reins um, to make some change, right? Five of Pentacles is not really the card that we always want to see. It does represent a loss or a lack energy here, but it does in the reverse represent an opportunity to turn things around. Now, it can be a very stubborn energy and it's upright, right? There's help, there's resources, there's opportunities, there's a better way, an alternate path that you can follow to make your situation better um, and to improve your energies, improve your situation situation for the future. But sometimes this does come in as stubborn energy. So, you know, if you need help or you need um, some assistance in some way, again, take charge emperor energy because there just might be help and assistance out there, but you need to put your ego aside, okay, put your human ego aside and ask, right? Release your, um, uh, how shall we say, uh, release your pride, right? Pride sometimes goeth before the fall. And sometimes we all get in a little bit of a sticky, a sticky spot every once in a while. We've got unexpected bills, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and so this is an opportunity here to, you know, get some help from somewhere or to do something different. All right. But for some of you here, I do feel that there maybe is something that you want to purchase, something you want to buy. So, you know, maybe you need to dip into your savings. This is why this is kind of a little bit challenging for you, right? Maybe you've been saving up for something and, um, you know, and now you're going to buy the thing that you want, but it is a little bit challenged because, of course, you're seeing the money drain out of your bank account. Um, but the five of pentacles in reverse is typically a card of improvement right? It's still challenging energy, but things are turning around for you. So this can be represented. It's a challenge to see um, the positive of something. It's a challenge to um, dig your way out of a hole. It's a challenge to ask for help, right? But the possibility of turning things around is very much there for you. Um, keep an open heart, keep an open mind and look into the future. All right. So yeah, you might have some money things that really do play front and center today. Um, but you could also just be really kind of breaking yourself out of a rut especially if you've had a little challenging week or you've got a challenging situation, right? So it's not an insurmountable challenge, especially with the emperor energy, right? Be large and in charge today. Your advice from spirit, we've got the lover's card coming in here. You have an ability here to bring things back together, to get things back on track. The lover's card is Gemini energy, and this is all about your thoughts, your communication, bringing things into alignment and making a choice. So what is the right choice for you, right? What will restore the status quo? What will bring things back together um, in where you're feeling like things are harmonious again, right? And so with the lover's card, you might have to make an important decision. And if you need to do that, then the emperor card is there, right? Because the lover's card, yes, it can represent something within partnerships of all kinds, Love and romance, friendships, business partnerships. Here also family partnerships, right? So if something's been a little bit off track, you have the ability here to bring things back together, but you may need to talk about something. You might need to work through some issues and maybe try a new, fresh approach at something there, especially with that page of pentacles. So focus on partnerships and relationships today and restoring the status quo, restoring the balance and harmony and resolving issues. And uh, wherever we put our focus is typically where we do see some progress. But the lover's card is also about you. Connecting with you, connecting with your higher self, right? Trusting yourself to, you know, see your way forward through things, right? This is a bringing together of the masculine and the feminine, right? And, you know, our feminine side is about being open, receptive, flexible, adaptable in the flow. Our masculine side is this fiery go-getter energy, right? So when these things come into alignment, this is where the magic happens. So what is blocking you? Do you need to do something different? Do you need to ask for help, right? The choice is yours, 
Okay, the choice is always yours, right? Or do you need to let something go? Sometimes to follow our goals, our dreams, and to make something happen, we do need to follow a new path, Page of Pentacles, and let something go. Five of uh, five of Pentacles, right? So whatever is, you know, whatever is your personal situation, the choice is yours. Listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition. Communication might be the key to resolving some things today or in your world or internally um, as well, right? So that lover's card does play a very key role. But again, it is that Gemini energy, right? So we do have that Mercury energy here, okay? Talking about important things, even things that we find a little bit embarrassing. And this usually puts our path um, into a better trajectory. I'm going to leave all that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please do hit that like button there. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Remember, embrace that energy, energy. You are large. You are in charge. You are powerful. You are in control. All right. But don't be afraid of a little bit of change okay, or open to a little bit of advice or help. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.